Hello everyone, it's Kay. This is the third time I've started recording this because I had some issues with my recording software and it said it stopped when it didn't. So anyway, hello, how are you? I hope you're doing well. As you can see today, we're gonna play Animal Crossing. I have not made a video in a long time and I, I've, been, I've been pretty busy, I have to be honest. I've been really, really busy with other things, not complaining, just telling you the state of the union. And I have decided that it would be fun, maybe, perhaps for you, but maybe definitely for me, to sit down and just play Animal Crossing with you. I know Animal Crossing isn't super popular anymore. I know it's not 2020. It's not going to get you the views or whatever. But if I'm really being honest, I still love playing Animal Crossing. And more than just love playing Animal Crossing, friends, I love playing my forever island which is saint rosie so here's what i'm going to be proposing over the next 30 days we're going to be best friends and we're going to play animal crossing together and chat for the next 30 days and we'll see if you like it or not so we're not gonna it's not gonna be maybe like my other videos and maybe we'll get a little more personal maybe it'll be a little sassy but I just want to hang with y'all and you'll see how, we'll see how you like it. If you don't like it, then I don't have to do it ever again. But if you do like it, then maybe this will be fun to do every once in a while. So, and I also, I also am not on camera today. I don't know if I'm going to be keeping it like that, but I feel like I just want to be able to turn on the game and hang out with y'all without the stress and worry about getting all made up and pretty and stuff. So here we are. We're gonna do some stuff on St. Rosie and we're just gonna chat. When I'm filming this, it's a Friday and it is mid-March, March 15th. There, there's the date. So um, yeah, so here, here I am. I think the last time I had the game on is I was doing a scavenger hunt and so I'm dressed exactly the same. So you know what, we're gonna actually change, oh my gosh, we're gonna change our outfit and we're gonna, you know, go out and see what my villagers are doing. They probably are mad at me for not speaking to them for a while, but you know what, that's just, that's just gonna have to be the way that it is, you know? Let's see, I don't think I need this bag right now either. It's springtime here in the good old Massachusetts. Well, if I'm really being honest, we don't usually have a springtime. We usually have a pretty long winter season. How do I feel about this one? This one? But this year, we had a really sh short winter and it didn't get very cold. So I don't know if that's necessarily a great thing. It's giving global warming, if I'm being honest. <laughs> so I'm not feeling super good about it. The mums that were on my porch that I left there over the entire winter are still alive. And normally they just, they freeze and die. So I don't know how to feel about it, but on the good side, I guess I don't have to buy new mumps. Okay, I love these. These are like my favorite. They're giving more Easter. Yeah, let's wear this. And should I wear a hat or just a beret? Look how cute. Maybe a, maybe a beret, I need a beret, but maybe a white. That's cute, that's cute. All right, shoes, maybe not so socks or stockings, maybe just shoes. Am I, am I casual today? Am I wearing like these comfy sandals? Are there, what other colors are these comfy sandals available in? There's a green, I have a green and a brown, but is there another selection? Are there more colors? <laughs> I don't know. Kind of tempted to wear these. You know, I think I'm gonna just do like regular shoes because if I'm being honest with myself, today we're probably gonna be doing a lot of like island cleanup because I'm sure the island is disgusting. Oh, I can wear like boots. That would be cute. That means I have to wear socks underneath these. These are kind of cute. What about if I just wore like, yeah. I want the socks I can see. Hmm. 
How come none of these are high enough? I grew these socks. Hmm. Well, <laughs> I want to be able to talk enough in these videos to where I don't have to edit them very much because if I don't edit these a lot, then I'll be more inclined to make these. Now I feel like I need to have a yellow hat as well. <laughs> so let's put on a yellow beret. Is this, is this springy enough? Should I wear a backpack? A, a backpack since I'm working, I'm out working, talking to villagers. Messenger bag, that's cute. I don't think I've ever used that before. Hmm. I don't like the black strap on it though. What about this? What about that? Is that cute? Where are we going though? Like, what are we carrying in our bag, you think? Definitely not, well, maybe we're carrying money. Maybe it's bells, who knows? What about the, the leather, what, wait, the nook pochette. Pochette. Um, hmm. What about the square backpack? Nah. What about this one, the satchel? That's looking like I'm going to school. I don't think I'm, I wanna look like I'm going to school. Maybe we could just go simple and go mom's knapsack. That's pretty cute. All right, we're done. We are done. All right. Look how cute we are, dressed for spring. So I don't think I've decorated my island for spring, so we're gonna do that while we're hanging out. So I just wanna let you know that while, oh my gosh, the, the roaches, should we kill the roaches? Should we kill them? What, oh, oh, was that it? Oh good. All the pesky cockroaches are gone. I feel so much better now. That's great. I'm so glad because ain't nobody got time for that. Roaches are, are pretty gross. And you know, to be honest, let's discuss for just a second. I love bugs. Listen, don't come for me. I know that some of y'all are like, ew, bugs. But like, listen, they're just like little tiny creatures. And I love them. <gasps> Hold on, we have to go, we have to fix whatever's going on in the background. I know you noticed. I know you noticed. I know that you noticed. Look at this, why is that there? Um, should we put that over here? Behind the piano? Is that legit? I think that's fine. That's fine. That is just fine. That's way better. Okay, this looks pretty good. Anyway, I love bugs, but I don't like roaches. Roaches are just, they don't, they don't give like cute. Um, I think that this, uh, this Berliner item, food item, is one of the best looking things in the game. This right here, look at it. Look at, they even got the shine of the, of the filling down. They, they did that. They, they did that. All right, let's go outside. I have tea here and I'm very cozy. I have my space heater on in the background. We're chilling. It's a little cold outside. It's like 46 degrees, which is not, it's warm for the Boston area, but still for me, 46, still a little bit chilly. So I have the heater on in my, in my office. I'm sorry if that's what you can hear, or maybe that's some white noise that you're vibing to. So I hope that you're doing well and you're having a great day wherever you are. Um, if you're not, I hope I can cheer you up and you know, make you feel a bit better, give you a little bit of company to hang out with. Um, but let's discuss what's been going on on the channel. I have been so busy. I've had to cancel some live streams lately just cause I've been in a really bad, busy headspace. So it's one of those things where to be careful what you wish for. Oh, here's Isabel. Here's Isabel. I'll finish the story after she's done. Oh my god. Oh. We have a visitor staying at the campsite, gang. Oh my gosh. I hope it's somebody good. I hope it's somebody good. Anyway. So, if you don't know, if you've never seen me before, I have three YouTube channels, <laughs> including this one, which is kind of dumb. I, if I'm being honest, it's kind of dumb. Because I really don't have time for all this. But I, I love this channel. And I love my vlog channel and the main channel I love. So like, 
I, I've dedicated myself to do all this, but I just, I realistically don't have time to like post a lot on all of them. But I've also dedicated myself to classical singing as far as like work goes as well. Cause I did that as a, you know, a major in college and grad school. And I love to sing, love it, love it, love it, love to sing. And so lately it's been pretty busy like with professional singing, like super busy. Like I got a lot going on at the same time and it's just like wild, but I'm also like super tired and it's weird. It's like a don't be careful what you wish for kind of thing. So I'm not really complaining about being busy, but just know, just know that your girl has a lot going on. I have a rehearsal almost every night over the next couple of weeks and it's like a lot. <laughs> It's a lot and some of the music is like really hard also so not only is my voice tired a little bit but my brain also a little bit tired you know because I don't have time to really like learn everything learn learn so I'm just sight reading for most of it and I'm a pretty good sight reader I've become much better over the last few years but oh my gosh brain still has to work all right let's Let's see who's in the campsite. Let's just see. Let's see if it's somebody good. It's probably somebody bad. If I'm if I'm being really honest, if I had to if I had to you know, predict. Oh my god. It is Mira. <sighs> Why? So listen. I don't dislike this villager. I didn't know she had a blue tail. I guess that makes sense. But the design is giving like, what were they thinking? Her mouth is always, she's always smirking like that. I just don't love it. And she's got a costume on all the time. And that, that star, while cute, she's got a mask on all the time. All the time. It's like those villagers with the helmets. Do they have the helmets on all the time? Is that a thing? All right, well, let's talk to her, I guess. Oh, I forgot that she's sisterly also. That's why I'm getting her. I mean, Cottontail. I mean, we gotta go. Sorry, Mira. I wish I liked her. I really do. I don't know how I feel about this, like, marshmallow roasting situation in spring. But the main thing I really have to take care of is this ugly path. <laughs> I mean, it's not ugly. It's 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 good for fall, but for spring, it's just not it's not it. And I really have to fix the path anyway because I don't feel like the path is that great. Um, so I'd really like to repair the path. Oh, here's here's um here's Ruby. Hi. How long has it been since I talked with you, Ruby? Let's see. Oh, she's not going to tell me. I love Ruby. I had to cheat to get Ruby because when I hunted for her, it just didn't work out. Because I, if I spend more than like a thousand tickets, I, I just can't do it anymore. You know? Uh, but I really like her and she has to, she has to stay. Speaking of that, oh my gosh, I, I didn't decorate anybody's yard, which I took down the Halloween decorations. How sad. Tabby's in her house. We'll go check on Tabby, see how she's doing. Tabby is never allowed to leave. So, I had to cheat to get Tabby too, I think. I think Tabby was, someone gave me Tabby. <laughs> oh my gosh, Tabby and Marshall are having a little get together. That's so cute. Hi, friends. How are you doing? Oh my gosh, how long? I have been busy. I've been so busy. You were bungee jumping? Wow. Um, what about you, Marshall? The shirt is killing me, the Marshall shirt. Oh, my <gasps> uh oh. All right, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. I want to talk to Marshall. I keep, I keep touching that. Okay, well, how, how long has it been? I'm not different. Oh, I mean, I changed. Marshall, what's going on? I forgot he says save up. What's the latest? Whoa, fancy meeting you here at Tabby's place. Glad to see you're both on the VIP list. 
I love Marshall. Marshall is also never leaving. Um, so he's a forever villager. I did find Marshall legitimately on a villager hunt, so he is legit. But Marshall and Tabby are permanent residents, and I must say, I have to say, this house is legitimately one of my favorite redesigns I've ever done. Because I do see Tabby as like, just anime girl, but like also like pink and blue pastel anime girl. Uh, and also like a little bit messy. So this, it's giving Tabby for me. And I love this house so much. I love that she's got a, like a messy kitchen and also a microwave <laughs> and some sushi. I don't know what Tabby and Marshall are up to, but I'm just gonna leave them alone. I'm gonna leave them to it. So, oh, is it one o'clock? Time flies. I have a rehearsal this evening um, at Boston University. And it is for a chamber concert that I'm doing with, oh gosh, it's gotta be like eight other singers. And it's all art songs. So that means songs, the classical music that's not part of an opera. It's just individual songs that were written. And they're really beautiful. But oh boy, am I out of practice when it comes to singing in French. Because all of these songs are in French. And it's just been so long since anyone has asked me to sing in French. And as a, as a singer, we all have languages that are strong and weaken. And French is one of my like weak languages because spoken French and French that you sing, you know what, let me grab this money, are completely like, well, they're not completely different, but they're really different. <laughs> Cause a lot of the silent letters or silent syllables that you would not say in French are syllables that you sing in French when you're doing, you know, an art song. And there are so many different diction rules, I guess more appropriate enunciation rules in French. And there are like 10 different ways to say the letter E or rules for the letter E or something. It's just, it's a lot. <laughs> and I, I, I feel like I can't like get it right all of the time. I feel like I'm stumbling a lot over a lot of the text. And I think I'm just gonna have to let that go. I'm just gonna have to let it go and just be okay with it. Okay, another one of my favorite redesigns is Maple's house. Look at it. Is this not adorable? This is so cute. Now, I don't think she can get in the, well, she can't get there, but she can get in the kitchen, I guess. Um, I don't know if she can get in the bedroom. Oh, I guess she can. She can get kind of in the bedroom. She's also wearing my, one of my little custom designs. So Maple looking really cute today. Look at her like doing the dusting. I should be doing that. It's spring. It's spring cleaning time. Have you guys started spring cleaning? Do you guys do partake in spring cleaning? I mean, I clean all year round, but like, you know, spring cleaning's a thing. It's been a while. Okay, is she gonna tell me how long? No, she's not. I love you, Maple, you're cute. Um, let's chat. Uh-oh. A little bear cub told you something recently. Well, I mean, who? Because you're the only one in town. Uh, I thought I should ask you if it's true. You're really into watching anime, right? Uh, yeah, I am. I am. I, I like it. I like it. Although I haven't watched it lately, I have to admit. The last anime that I watched was Mushishi. I don't know if, if any of you have seen that out there watching, but if you have not seen it, it's very good. It is a show about this Mushi master and he travels around Japan. And I think it's like past Japan, it's not like current. And he is researching these creatures called Mushi and they live somewhere between like, I don't know, like dimensions. And like not everyone can see them, but they like have effects on the real world. I guess the world that we live in. And he kind of like drives them out or I don't know, 
gets rid of them for people if they cause problems. But it's a really good show. It's on Hulu if you have that. Or it might be on Crunchyroll if you do that too. Definitely 100% worth watching. It's so good. Um, you can just sit there and binge it if you really wanted to, but it's just amazing. We gotta search for a different path. This path? This path is not giving. Should I just go back to my old path? Maybe I should. I don't know. If I were really into, like, doing the most, I would make my own path, but we're not there yet. <laughs> we're definitely not there yet. Let's go and see what's going on in the plaza. I definitely have to redo what's going on in the plaza. It's looking very, like, pumpkin spice fall, and that's not really what we are here for right now in March. <laughs> so I think I'll change this over during this series. Oh my gosh. Anka, you gotta be kidding me. Let's let's take a look at the roster, shall we? That's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> let's look at the let's look at the roster. So Anka is looking like she wants to go. Listen, I mean, Carmen and Tom are just are disposable for me. If I'm really being honest, Carmen's okay. We just have so many peppies, like. To Peppy, and then we got Peppy. Three Peppies is a lot. Tom, we have a lot of cats. How did that happen? One, two, three, four cats. Wow. Um, I'm not ready for Anka to leave yet. So, I mean, I don't have to talk to her. I could just say no. But then I have to wait for five days for, until someone else gets the idea. And who who won't, Tom? <laughs> hmm. I guess I could push Tom out or Carmen if I really wanted to. Well, I'll tell her she needs to stay. That gives the five day cooldown, right? We don't need to be villager hunting. No. 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 Yeah. Stay put. Nope. You can't leave. Sorry. No more toxic moving. Okay. Anka. You cannot. And now she just got a coffee out. That's so random. She talked about leaving. She's not into it. And then she just like whipped out the Starbucks. I don't really know how to think about that. But I mean, you know what? You do you. I'm drinking tea right now. So perfectly legit. I mean, shocker, she's hanging out also by the sushi bar as well. Um. I, <laughs> the fish, fish market, fish market and sushi bar. I love this fish market. Do you like this? If, I mean, if you're just listening to this and you're like doing something else in the background, just take one second and look at the screen. Do we like this? I think, I mean, I made this off stream, like in my personal time. And I think it's really cute. Little fish market. But it's been here forever and I feel like I should take it down and replace it with something else. I don't know, but I just, I really like it. And look, I even put the little um, anchovy cans here. And I just think it's adorable. I just think it's perfect and I love it. Even the little fish sign. So, and that's why Anka's hanging out here. And next to it is the sushi bar that, you know, you can, uh, you can eat at. You can have your premium sushi. And whatever this is. This is not sushi. I think this is some... You know what, I don't know what this is. It's a seasonal item, but it's got a big old lobster in it. You know what? I'm looking at this really close now. It's got a big old lobster in it, plus some other things. Looks like a lotus root, maybe some fish cakes in it. This looks super expensive. Don't you think? Don't you think that looks like something that would cost you at least 
$100 if you were going to buy this in the United States. I'm going to look up exactly how much this goes for, and I'll put it on the screen. Because I'm not really sure what this is. <laughs> but it looks, she looks expensive, which is why I put it out there. The sushi also looks really good. Look how good that looks. If you eat sushi, let me know what kind is your favorite. I really like, you know, the rolls. Oh my gosh, there's Teddy! He's, he's giving a little concert! Should we go listen? Let's go check it out. Let's go check out what he's doing. I love Teddy. Teddy's my favorite. Teddy's never leaving too. Look at it, look. What, what song are we even singing? Listen, Teddy is like one of my OG favorite villagers from back in the GameCube days. He's just, he's like everything. I love him. How can you not love him? Look at him. Look at how like just grand he is. He's every, he's like everything. <gasps> he's gonna sing the marching song. No, 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 don't, 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 don't work out. Oh. Well, you know what, Teddy? You're a real one because this is me yesterday working out. Anyway, Sher Sherb, Sherb is here uh, studying flowers. Oh, he's not taking pictures of the flowers, which is fun. My husband really likes to take pictures of flowers. He really, really does. On walks, if there's like stuff blooming, he's always he's like whipping the iPhone out, taking pictures of it. It's a little much sometimes, but you know, I think it's kind of cute. Look at Sherb. He's just adorable. He's so cute with his little his little sweater vest on. Should we see how he's doing? Maybe he'll tell me how long it's been since I've talked to him. They just sat in a while. I did eat a bunch of yummy stuff while, while I was gone. I ate so much food. I ate so much food. Was he looking at bug book? A bug book? Is he looking at bugs? Oh, now he, is he taking a picture of his phone again? His phone? No, he's taking a picture of his his flower. He's not taking a picture of his phone. He's not taking a picture of his phone. He's taking a picture of the flowers again. Oh, now he's got the book out again. Is he reading the right book this time? Nope, still the bug book. The beetle book. Um, let's just talk to him. The cobblestone plaza feels so real fancy. And I usually don't say stuff like that about rocks. What? Okay. I love you, Sherb. Love you, Sherb. All right, Teddy's working out here. Should we join him? Should we join? We should, can we join? Let's just join. Oh, that's the wrong button. What's the, uh, I never remember what the emote button is. I, okay, here it is. <laughs> Why don't I ever remember? Oh no, he's walking away, how dare. Oh no, he's gonna work out right there. Which one is the, oh, work out, here we go. <gasps> now he's taking pictures of the flower bed. I mean, is that the thing to do? Can I join in? I, I'll do it too. Let's see. Where's that emote? Oh, there it is, right there. I'll take a picture of it too. Yes, joining in. Why is, I don't know why, why my flash was on, but I'm having a great time. Okay, now we can, we can work out again. We can work out again. Okay, here we go. Oh shoot, I forgot. Uh. Don't, here we go, yes. Don't stop working out to look at me. Let's keep going, let's keep going. Uh, come on, bestie. Yes. Oh my gosh, yes. I mean, working out with Teddy. Goals. Goals. Ah. Can, we, can we do this move? Can we get to this move? Wait, I can't remember, did he just do that? Are we like one move behind? One move apart from one another? Meanwhile, there's a butterfly just hanging out. Oh, Sherb's gonna go look at it. So cute. Okay, can I do the kicks now? I'll do the kicks. Uh-oh, I think Teddy's done. I think I'm I'm being left to work out by myself. How sad. <gasps> He's whipping his phone out, taking a picture of the flower bed again. Why, what is so special about that flower bed? <gasps> now I'm gonna do the kicks. 
If you work out in front of me, I'm gonna be offended. Okay. Okay, he didn't, he did not cover me. <gasps> oh my god, we're synchronized! Stop, this is so cute. <gasps> no, 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 keep working out. Keep working out. Oh, I guess our little workout sesh, sesh is kind of done. We got Flick here just like in the background. I don't really have any bugs to sell to Flick, so. <gasps> again with the, f again with the phone. I want to do it too. All right. Me, me too. I just want to fit in. I just want to. I just want to be like Teddy. I just want to. <laughs> I just want to fit in. All right. Well, we'll leave him by himself to do whatever he needs to do. Gosh, that took me back to like when I was a. For some reason, I I started thinking about when I was a brownie. Um, you know, like Girl Scouts brownies, and just you know, wanting to fit in and stuff. I don't really think I ever really fit in. I kind of just always did my own thing. Oh my gosh, we have to clean up some of these tulips. Let's do that right now while we're chatting. Um, I never really fit in. I was kind of an outsider, which was okay with me. I know that some kids like don't fit in when they're in elementary school and high school and whatever, and it really bothers them. Um, I never really felt like that. I just accepted it as a reality. I had friends, maybe that's why. I had friends, but I just, I mean, I definitely 100% was not one of the cool kids. So I wasn't, I was sort of in the middle on the fringes. I wasn't getting teased and made fun of or bullied, but I wasn't cool. And maybe that's a lie. I was, like, I was teased playfully for, like, the dumbest thing. So this is the dumbest thing I got teased for, and I still don't know. I still don't know why to this day. I was ever teased for it, but my parents always told me never to put my elbows on the table. <laughs> like, like that it was so rude. Um, and I, you know, I really don't think it's that rude. I think it's just, it's, it is whatever, you know. Um, and so I, I just, I was a good little obe obedient child. I was an only child, so like I was especially obedient because, you know, there's no one there to like take attention away from you if you're an only child. So I feel like most only children tend to be pretty obedient. Why is there a pet bed over there? We have to get it. <laughs> um, so I just never put my elbows on the table, even at school. And like my people, my, my people, my friends like tease me about it. They're like, hi, you're so proper. You never put your elbows on the table. And like, so? <laughs> I, I don't know like if that was something for me to like be ashamed of it's just something that I it's just something that happened I you know can I pull this no oh oh well um well, so I thought that was like the weirdest thing so it just goes to show you that like kids will make fun of absolutely anything and everything just to like teach you about something and it's completely stupid you know what? I don't think I've ever been inside Carmen's house. I don't think I've ever been in here. Let's go. Let's hang out. Let's hang out. Let's hang out in Carmen's house. Let's, let's, let's see what it's like. Okay, Carmen. What does your house look like? Oh. Have I been in Carmen's house? Hmm. You know, oh my God, are we wearing the same dress? No, we're wearing two different colors. Um, but I mean, we almost wore the same dress. <sighs> How do I feel about this house? It's not bad. Why? I don't like this block furniture. I think it looks really like wacky. Kind of, this, this house is weird. Because it looks like it's trying to be house, but there's, where are you eating? Is that a, like, is that that table like behind the bed with a lamp on it? How strange. Do villagers move their furniture around? Like, is this the original configuration for this house? I don't love it. Look how close this chair is to the TV. Oh my god, you can slide all into it. Can I turn the TV on from here? No. Turning it on. 
All right. Like, it, this is how close your parents told you not to sit to the TV. But right now, this is how close I'm sitting to the monitor on my computer. <laughs> are we all ruining our eyes as like a generation? I mean, I know my eyes are like just ruined. <gasps> is there trash inside this bat? This, um, is there trash in here? Like in the trash can? Is there trash in there? Is there a way we can tell? Wait, oh, she's singing so cute. Okay, I can do a camera. We can do, we can do the pro camera. Is there trash there? I think there is. Let's get close. Let's zoom in. Oh, there is trash in it. What? What is the trash? All right, can I have her close to it? Carmen's so cute. All right, let's take our, let's, let's, let's try this again. I can't really tell what the trash is. It's like paper trash, maybe? It's funny. Carmen, kind of stealing my heart right now, not gonna lie. After contemplating kicking her out. Would it be bad to kick her out so close to Easter? Probably, she's giving chocolate bunny. But sassy chocolate bunny. Hmm. She's really cute. I, I don't, you know what? I don't like the way her house matches her. I think that's weird. That's maybe what I don't like about it. It's like, oh, green and, and cream and brown. Or mint and green and brown. No, no. Because mint is green. Mint and brown. And cream. That's the the theme they have going here. And I don't really know if I like it. Should I fix it? Should we fix it? Let's talk to her. How long has it been? Oh, none of them are gonna tell me. Whatever. Bye. Her house looks like garbage. I think I should change it. <laughs> I should change it. Okay, and the yard looks like, it's interesting. This was Dom's yard, and now it's Carmen's. Um, whose house is this? Is this, um, this is Raymond's house, he's not home. This is Tom's house. Now I think, now I know I picked Tom on a villager hunt, but I don't know, he's not, I'm not feeling him. I, oh, he's crafting. But look at this house, like what is this? It's a freaking garage. I hate it. I hate it. But his jacket does have a dog on it, a bulldog on it, which is fun. Um, and it says, does it say dog? It does say dog. It's kind of fun. But I just, do we need Tom? Would we rather like have Camel Frog back? I think we would. Oh, what'd you think of? I think I'd rather have Camel Frog, if I'm being honest. You know? Hi. How long? None of, them gonna, none of them are gonna tell me. Must not have been that long. This house stinks. Look at it. They got car beds. This house is terrible. It's a terrible house. <gasps> but I do love that the car bed does that. I forgot that. I forgot. That's fun. The light comes on and everything. That's kind of priceless. That's actually adorable. But you know what? I, w I would like to have Camel Frog back. Camel Frog vibes. You know what? Let's have a Camel Frog date. I, I, I kind of miss, I kind of want to bring the old St. Rosie back. I don't think that's weird at all. I think that's good. I think Bringing the old St. Rosie back might be a vibe, you know? Part of me wants to bring a Huck back too, to be honest. Um, but you know what? What? I, here's what I'm gonna do. Oh my God, where's this, where's this fountain? I'm, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna do a little uh, coffee date with Camel Frog and we'll see how we're doing. We'll see how we're feeling. 
my gosh, my pockets are a disaster. Look at these. Disaster. What are the what? Glasses? Spooky cookies? Okay, I'm just gonna sell these and not think about it. I don't need any of this crap. Oh, oh, maybe not the photo. <laughs> Garbage pail, cuckoo clock, whatever this is. Maybe not that. Um. All right. Sell it all, baby. Sell it all. Okay. Um. Let's have a little coffee day with Camel Frog and see how we feel. See how we vibe. I mean, listen, I'd also like to have Hawk back. Do we not have... No, we have so many smugs. We have so many smugs. We've got Raymond and Marshall. But you know what? It would be, it would be fine. It would be fine. All right. Let, let's go. Let's go have a Camel Frog date. I don't want to edit this video a lot. I don't want to edit it at all, actually. I just want to like have this be a stream of consciousness. So you know what? I'm gonna leave this on while I uh, get my uh, get my amiibos out. I don't know what number Camo Frog is on the amiibo spectrum. He must be early on in, in here, right? Because he's one of those OG villagers. I'm going to open up my, my small numbers here. Let's see. We got Prince. We got uh, all these friends. All right. It was much faster to look him up on the internet. He's 183. <laughs> so now I know exactly where to find him. Because I have all mine in, in order. Okay. I have found him. I actually have two copies of Camo Frog. We will invite him over for a coffee and see how we're feeling. And see if we need to invite him back to the island. Because maybe that might be something to do. Because I don't I'm not I'm not feeling not feeling Tom, really. No offense to Tom, you know, on, honestly. I would like to use the man amiibo uh Animal Crossing or whatever the center that said they said that was. I don't know. Here we go. Here we go. It is the Camel Frog amiibo. Yes, yes. Connect with Camel Frog. Now, I don't, if you've never done this, you should do it with a villager that you, has moved out of, uh, you know, off your island. Because they talk with you about their memories on the island and it's really cute. <gasps> Here's Camel Frog. Oh my gosh. He's just adorable. How can, like, can we just talk about Camel Frog for like a, a hot second? By the way, oh my god, I didn't know you could come in front. I've been playing this game since 2020, and I didn't know you could come in front here. Not that this has been around since 2020, but you can you can go all the way down here. Can I adjust my camera to like get lower? Because I can't turn the camera. <gasps> this is so epic. Everybody look over here. <gasps> So cute. Wait. <gasps> what is. Oh my god, this is the thumbnail. This is the thumbnail you're gonna see. Oh my god, I closed my eyes. Are you kidding? What happens if I do an emote? Does he like get excited? Oh my god, that's so cute! Camel Frog is everything. Look at me like making thumbnails during the video. Who am I? Should we celebrate? Oh my god, adorable. Ad freaking adorable. Okay, so I have to get off this way. Let me talk to Camo Frog. We're having we're on a date. Okay, let's talk. Hey kiddo, thanks for calling me over. The coffee here is really something else. Wow, seeing you again really takes me back. We sure had fun, didn't we, kiddo? Camel frog, please come back. It takes a lot of confidence to make a menu with nothing but coffee on it. But if anyone deserves to have that level of confidence, it's Brewster. Look at him, he loves Brewster. 
He's a Brewster stand, and you know what? Honestly, so am I. Look at the intensity of like the mug cleaning here. Look, check this out. Just scrub a dub in. You love to see it. Strange, but this coffee's making me feel all nostalgic. There's just something about it that calls to mind the sweet smell of the air on St. Rosie. It's nice. <gasps> I'm obsessed. Should we, do we need, I think, you know what? I think, you know, I don't know why I'm asking because I have the answer. I have the answer. We're bringing St. Rosie back again in 2024. It's, it's gotta be back. Can I take, can I turn the camera a little bit? Oh, I can't. That's so annoying. That's really annoying. Um, but I can like get over here in this seat. I don't know. Maybe that, maybe my thumbnail was cute already. Super cute though. Take a little screenshot. Camel Frog, I think you might have a date back with Tom Nook. I can't get you your own your old house back, but well I can if I kick off Carmen. <laughs> Is that a move? Okay, listen. New strategy. I kinda wanna bring the old St. Rosie energy back. And that means we bring back old villagers. And I think I'd like to bring back like old villagers that you guys probably hate. Like Bubbles or Apple or again, Huck, N a Deli, but not Peaches. Peaches overstayed her welcome and can stay gone, frankly. But I don't know, like old, like 2020 St. Rosie was a vibe. And I think I'm kind of nostalgic for 2020 St. Rosie. I think I want that. I think I want that for myself in 2024. Um, so I've made a decision. We're inviting back Camel Frog. We brought, we, we like, we're, we're like on a date right now, you know? And then, you know what, honestly, let's, let's talk. My husband and I, um, we dated for a little bit in, I don't know, when was it, 20, 2003 or something? And we, you know, we could like lost touch. But in 2013, we found each other again. And we were like on our second first date, you know? And I feel like me and Camel Frog are on our second first date. And I can see myself having Camel Frog as my neighbor again. Just look at him. He's a camouflage frog and he's everything. Camel Frog, get ready. Get ready to move. I don't know where you're living right now, uh, but get your boxes from the Home Depot, bestie. Cause you're coming back to St. Rosie. Ah, <sighs> that made me happy. That made me really happy. Are they gone once you leave? Like you invite them and they're like, they like peace out after that? Is that, is that the dealio? Or can you do it like a billion times? Ooh, he's gone. He's gone. Should we invite another oldie but goodie? We'll see how we feel about it. Um, what about bubbles? I y'all hate bubbles. Um, I know y'all hate bubbles cause she's a, hippo but listen okay i invited bubbles when i didn't know you could village or hunt <laughs> so i just invited her and i was like oh i just saw her and i was like i guess i have to invite you but i grew to really like her i think she's so cute and she had the peppy starter house and so oh i hit the mic and i was like I like you. She had a little grape dress on. She's adorable. All right. I don't know what cover, what, what, uh, what number her amiibo is. I'm looking on the internet right now, but it's taking a long time. Um, I'm on 
Oh, wait, 228. All right, let's find that. I don't have a legit Bubbles Amiibo. <laughs> I don't have an official Bubbles Amiibo, but I do have a uh, non-legit one. Hold on, I'll get that one. I have all these like little tiny baby Amiibos that someone gave me. Um, it was one of you and I really I, like love them. I'm so appreciative, but how am I going to find the one I need? They're not in numerical order. So I'm just gonna go through them while I'm chatting with you <laughs> about villagers. What if I like can't find, what if I can't find her? I'm gonna be so sad. Are they in numerical order? I don't think they are. I don't think they are. Oh, besties. Well, I just, I know that it's green. So I'll search for a green one. And that way, maybe I'll find it faster. I'm gonna take a picture of my desk after I'm done filming this and you guys are gonna holler. You guys are gonna laugh so much. Okay, these are the um, RV villagers. I'll put those over there. And I'm gonna go through these piles, but wait, um, they're so small that I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find. <laughs> what I should have done is take these small ones and put them in the blank spots of my official Nintendo ones so that I, you know, knew where to find the missing blanks instead of just having this big pile of small ones. Uh-oh, what if I can't find that at all? I need, I need to, I need to have coffee with bubbles. I'm upset right now. <laughs> Please let me find her. Please. <gasps> I didn't find her. Oh no. Oh no. Let me take out all the green ones. Okay, I can't find my bubbles amiibo and I'm crushed. I'm absolutely crushed. So I'll have to look for it and find it later because Bubbles is a queen and she needs to be invited back. But actually today I'm gonna have coffee with Apple and see how I feel about that. I do have Apple's amiibo. So we'll just see, we'll see how I feel about Apple. Apple was, if, you, if you've been watching my channel for a long time, then you know Apple is literally like the first villager I ever invited to my island on a like filmed villager hunt. It was a, it was actually a super popular video on my channel um, in 2020, and it was when I didn't know how to film. I was using like a janky MacBook to make the video. And I found her and I just thought she was so cute. And I said she was sisterly by accident, um, but she's obviously peppy. But a lot of you think that she has murder eyes and like, I can see that. I, I really, I, listen, I can see, I can see that. Like, look, I can see that. She's kind of giving, it's kind of creepy. Why won't she look at the camera? Why won't she look at the camera? Why won't you look at the camera? <gasps> there she goes. That's a little weird. That's a little weird, but we're gonna talk to her. Oh my gosh, getting a new card for you has been totally the highlight of my month, day, and week. That was so out of order. So out of order. Okay, okay, we're warming up. Oh, so I read this one book called Shake It Till You Make It. And at the end of it, God, I can't tell you the twist ending or whatever, or are you not nostalgic about being back in St. Rosie? I'm so happy you gave me an excuse to visit St. Rosie. How are we feeling? How are we feeling towards Apple? How are we feeling? How are we feeling? I don't know. I don't know, I have mixed feelings. Like, I really, I have mixed feelings. Let's see if she'll look at the camera again. Oh, I have mixed feelings. I don't know if I need Apple back in my life right now. This made me like, a little more nostalgic for Bubbles, if I'm being honest. Apple's cute, though. Is she sitting? Oh, I guess she is sitting. I guess she is sitting. <laughs> All right, well, um, you know what? This is where I'm gonna leave you today. Uh, this is the end of uh, today's adventure on St. Rosie. I hope that you kind of enjoyed this chatty hangout with me 
time on St. Rosie. I don't know how long I've been filming, but I feel like it's for, <laughs> I feel like it's been a really long time. Oh my gosh, it's been almost an hour. I think I'm going to do this again tomorrow and we're going to keep this up for for a while and see if you like it. See if you like hanging out with me and we're just chilling. You can turn this on while you're cleaning the house or while you're typing something or doom scrolling or something. I don't know. But I hope you enjoyed the video and I am enjoying filming this. Yeah, this was fun. This was super fun. Um, I don't know what else to say. I guess, I guess I'm going to go. All right.